Okay, this is the lesson in SPSS PASW on how to perform an alpha reliability analysis. Uh, this is an analysis you run uh, anytime you have scale data, uh, you want to make sure that the items, uh, they correlate with each other, they hang together as they should, um, and it's called a reliability analysis. So anytime you have a scale and you uh, want to form an average or a composite of different uh, items from that scale, you should really be running an alpha uh, reliability analysis. Um, so in this case, we have uh, a couple columns, our participant ID and uh, our participant sex. And then we have five columns representing five different mood items. Um, uh, questions on a one that looks like a five-point scale assessing people's mood. And let's say my goal is to form a composite of these items. I, I don't want to have to an analyze these separately. My goal is to simply form an average and make sure that... Uh, and just run the analysis on the mood generally. Maybe I want to see if men and women uh, differ in their overall mood. Um, but before I form that average, I really should do what's called the reliability analysis to see are these items all actually measuring, are they all tapping the same construct that I'm calling mood. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to analyze, and we're going to go down to scale, and we're going to go to reliability analysis. This is the option we use when we have a scale and we want to see if the items are reliable with each other, if they hang together. So we're going to click on this and uh, we'll reset. Um, and what we want to do is we want to bring over all of the items that are relevant to our scale. In this case, mood 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Um, we're going to leave it set on alpha. There are some other options uh, for advanced users, but uh, in general... Alpha is the most common. Um, we're going to click on statistics, and we're going to click on the following three things under descriptives. We want item descriptives, scale descriptives, and scale if item deleted. Um, we're always going to click these three things, and we'll ignore everything else. We'll then hit continue, and we'll then hit OK. So um, yeah, we get a, a bunch of windows in our output. Uh, how many cases were present? There were 18. We had 18 participants. Uh, there's no missing data. Uh, we then come down here, and what we're looking for is this number here, the Cronbach's alpha. And ideally, we want this number to be uh, above 0.7, positive 0.7. It has five items. We want this uh, due to we want this to be above 0.7. Um, and in this case, it's, it's negative. In fact, uh, so that's a very bad. It means that there's something wrong with our scale. Um, if we go down, we have our item statistics that lets us know what is the mean for item one, for item two, for item three. Um, if we look at this, uh, it looks like the mean for item four is definitely higher than the other means. Maybe that might be the problem. Um, Item total statistics uh, lets us know what happens if you delete a particular item from the scale. So if you delete scale item 1, the new Cronbach's alpha is negative 0.69, so it's even worse. And if you delete 2 or 3 or 5, it gets considerably worse. But if you delete item 4 from the scale, your Cronbach's alpha now is positive 0.85, meaning that the scale would be much, much better if we only use items 1, 2, 3, and 4. If we, in fact, go up to analyze scale reliability analysis and take out item 4 and rerun this analysis, our new convex alpha is, in fact, 0.85. Now, one reason uh, that the scale may be bad, it may, item 4 may have been bad, but it's also possible that I didn't reverse code that question. Let's say items 1, 2, 3, and 5, higher numbers mean more happiness. But for item 4, uh, higher numbers mean less happiness, less positive mood. In this case, we would want to reverse code this item. A way of reverse coding is we can go to Transform, Compute Variable. We're going to take item mood item 4, and all we're going to do is we're going to do 6 minus mood item 4. And we'll call this Recoded Mood 4. Now, the reason I do 6 minus mood 4 is that every single number is, uh, is 1 through 5, which means that if I want a 5 to actually be a 1, I could go into recode into different variable and do it that way. Or, if I do 6 minus mood, then a 5 becomes a 1, a 4 becomes a 2, a 3 becomes a 3. So it, we're essentially reverse coding automatically. If I hit OK... And I go back here, I now have my recoded mood. Instead of a 5, it's a 1. Instead of a 1, it's a 5. Instead of a 4, it's a 2. Uh, and if I now run the reliability analysis, and I put back in recoded mood 4, and I hit OK, my Cronbach alpha is now 0.887. This indicates to me that this is a good scale, 
then I can, in fact, form a composite of this scale. That is how you perform a Cronbach's alpha analysis in SPSS slash PASW.